Brakati Ahawu, Brakati Awashai, Brakati Ahawu, Brakati Awashai, Brakati Ahawu, Brakati Ahawu, Bashim Yawashai, Bahashim, Ha Kodash. Double to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there, you Akim to Zadakim. I do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Um, I'm the priest Shaman. Uh, this week's topic is going to be entitled, um, In That Day, Don't Trust Voice or Video. Um, that's that's the working title right now. It's inspired by this, this uh, clip on YouTube right now. You know, they're trying to shut down the top G, Andrew Tate. Um, but there's a video of you on YouTube with an algorithm speaking exactly just like the man. The algorithm, pretty much whatever you type, it will say it in his voice and speech pattern and everything. And, you know, if, if I tell you that's what the video is, you can kind of pick up that, that, that it, you know, that it's a robot, right? Somewhat. But what, what's, what's the concern is this. The concern is that's the sort of technology that they release into the public. So imagine the technology that they that they that they don't show you how far that goes in terms of you could think you're record you know you're hearing the audio of a brother or you see in the video or something like that of the brother and it's completely fabricated right it's 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 not it's not real you know and and as we approach these times um the deception is going to grow thankfully the scripture says um you will not be able to um Deceive the elect, uh, Salakia. Um, my brain is slipping me right now, Salakia brothers. Um, actually, let me let me do this. Let me do this. Um, let me search Safari. Let's see if I could do this, Salakia. Ignorant of Satan devices. Alright, so this is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 2, verse 11, in the King James Bible, it reads, um, it's a lot of Jesus, man, they got so many different versions, I just wanted the King James, bro. Alright, so, it is in the King James, it says, um, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, so... Um, well, that's one of the devices the so-called white man has. It's artificial intelligence, deep fake technology, all these things to sort of deceive you, to make you, uh, uh, give you a perception of a reality that's not real, you know? Just like how they will show you in, in movies like uh, uh, Total Recall, right? Where, the, you know, they, they wiped the guy's memory and gave him the illusion that he had a family or um, they have like holograms and they got things like Project Blue Beam. So that... That we see it now in real time. If they want to frame somebody, it's very possible for them to take your voice, your likeness, and have them say, you know, have it say words that you didn't even say, and things like that. So that's that's what's gonna happen. You know, that's what's gonna happen in our sense because really, brothers are you know law-abiding citizens, and the so-called white man is gonna try every avenue that he possibly can, all right, to trap us up. The devil shall cast some of you into prison. Bible. Oh man, iPhone is fucking garbage, man. I'm sorry, iPhone is garbage. Hold on. Cast some of you in prison. Revelation. Alright, so let's go to the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10. Okay. Um, now, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Oh my gosh. New King James Version, of course, right? King James Version. It says, Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer, right? So some of the things that we're going to suffer is persecution, being locked up, our name slandered, all these different things going against us. It says, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. Right, so the devil, the so-called white man, the deceiver, the accuser of the brethren, is going to cast some brothers into prison. You know, look, the scripture says, to whom much is given, much is required, right? So, um, certain brothers are more high profile than others in terms of being on their watch list, right? And that's also in the scriptures, you know, they wait, you know, the apostles and stuff, like the apostles right now, they're seen as like the high target, right? Because they have a, a large influence 
on a lot of people. So there's gonna have they're gonna have different ways to try to um, get information, intercept things, and all these sorts of things to try to uh, go against the Lord's elect. But honestly, it's all futile. It's all futile. You could send spies. You could do whatever. Like you know, there's no information. It's some deep, dark information you're going to find of us breaking laws and shit like that. We don't come in that spirit. You know, we don't tell brothers to pick up um, guns and take things into their own actions and none of that stuff. We just tell them what the scriptures say. You know, at the end of the day, we're waiting upon Yahweh Hashem Yahushua to take this man down. We don't do anything in our own power to physically try to disrupt this place or nothing. You know, just law-abiding citizens teaching the word of the Heavenly Father. So... You know that won't stick in a court of law, right? So they're gonna try to frame brothers. They're gonna they're gonna do all types of shit, man. Psyop operations, whatever. So we're not ignorant of these things, and you know we 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 already know the setback that's gonna come with these things when they start coming after us. You know, it says, um, "Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison." So some brothers are gonna be locked up and put behind bars because of this thing. You know, it says. That ye may be tried, right? Put through fire. Your faith tested, man. Our faith are going to be tested in that day. It says, And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So that's it. Faithful unto death. Because there's a certain dispensation of faith, right? There's a certain dispensation of faith. Um, meaning some brothers are more faithful than others, you know? But those that have the faith that are faithful unto death, they're going to endure, you know? So, at the end of the day, look, as we said in previous lessons to the Spirit, you don't have to think about what steps and stuff you're going to take. At the end of the day, just have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. But the so-called white man, um, with all his technology, has created these snares and traps to trap people up. And, you know, it's only a matter of time before, you know, especially when the MOTT... MOTB hits and a majority of Israelites will be, you know, are going to be um, discussing this topic. GMS is going to be brought to the top. You know, and the so-called white man and the elites, they know who we are. They know, they know everybody. They know the leaders of every camp, you know, and they know that great millstone. Some of the apostles and elders have been bringing out the mark of the beast for the longest. You see? So, th so we're the ones they want to target. Um... Let me get um, work miracles revelation. All right, I'm gonna pause this lesson. Really. All right, Shalom, brothers, I'm back. So lucky I had to pick up that phone call um, from a brother. You know, so all right. So reading on what before I um, the brother had called, I was speaking about Revelations, the 16th chapter. And the fact that what the so-called white man right now is doing is, is really working miracles, you know. Again, Daniel's, the fourth chapter and the twelfth verse, I'm sorry, Daniel's 12 and 4 tells us that knowledge shall increase. Uh, the technology that we have in today's time, um, especially comparing back to Bible times, anywhere in the Bible times, will be seen as a, a great miracle, you know. I mean, even the fact that I'm doing this lesson right now on a smartphone and it's going to be broadcasted throughout the world and... Man, it's 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 truly crazy, man. I mean, this is the power of the Lord, you know, and that's that's the main reason why this internet thing blew up, man. The, the, the primary reason the internet blew up was that this gospel could be spread into the ends of the world, all over the world, in such a short amount of time, you know, and and, and really at convenience, right? Okay, because I remember when 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 we were doing our videos in the beginning, it had to, you know, brothers were using camcorders, and then you had to put the camcorder. Uh, the memory card and all this type of stuff and transfer it to your laptop, then from the laptop to upload it to YouTube. Now these phones, I could, I could record this video in 4K, you know, and or I even go live in HD. So that's the most high speeding things up, man, you know. And the scriptures tell you about the, the, the unicorn, you know, which is going into the feed horn of the satellites, okay, which is doing the bulk of the heavy lifting, man. It's like I'm the apostles didn't have to fly out to Africa or... Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and Jamaica, and, you know, Brazil, or wherever, wherever you have Israelites scattered abroad, you know, the apostles didn't physically have to take a plane ticket and go out there and preach to these people, right? Um, in the ancient world, things did spread of word of mouth, but right now, um, you could literally pull back time, watch back videos of 07, 08, 09, um, shows you missed and everything, you know? And, and these video epistles, 
um, are going out there. And it's the apostle of the hall put the spirit um, for brothers to be disciplined about putting up at least three videos a week so the, so the flock could constantly be fed, right? Because the book of Proverbs 27 tells us that um, the righteous is diligent to know the state um, of its flock, right? So with that said, this is um, the book of, uh, this is the King James Version, okay? It says, for they are spirits, for they are spirits of devils working miracles, right? So they are the spirit of the devils, devils working miracles. You know, the number one miracle that the so-called white man is going to, um, has put together through the spirit of the Lord, pursuant to the book of Isaiah 54 and 6, is the nuclear missiles. You know, the nuclear missiles are going to pretty much change the planet Earth shake it to and fro on its foundation okay you also have the mark of the beach which is also a heavy miracle the ability to buy and sell and trade goods with an RFID tag, tag inside your body um, it's it's science fiction man but it's 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 no longer um, fictitious this is the reality you know it's now non-fiction it says um, for they are the spirits of devils working mir miracles which go forth onto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of the Most High Almighty, right? And, you know, somebody asked their Alexa, when will World War Three be? And um, uh, there's a clip that brothers put, you know, in the chat. You know, somebody asked Alexa, um, when is World War Three? And, it, you know, gave it a specific date. Um, and it says, you know, that it will take place. They said 2023 also. Um, I think they said October, something like that. Um you know, when Germ when Russia shoots off missiles on Germany, um, which Alexa, you're going off, you know, first and foremost, no man knows the day, and that's in the Bible, um, not even Yahushua know, if Yahushua don't know, how fucking Alexa gonna know, um, and secondly, it's gonna start in the Middle East, all right, that's how come we hear about these skirmishes, they're part of prophecies and wars and the rumors of wars, um, but when it comes to World War Three being kicked off, being in full gear mode it has to start in the middle east specifically with the state of israel you know because that's where the, the gutter rats dwell that's where the so-called jews dwell and you know, they're the least of the flock to the nation of edom that's going to bring everything full circle and it's evident you know they're the ones that's stirring up the things in the middle east right now and they're the reason there shall be no peace in the middle east because as gamar um al manesser said i believe that's his name former president of egypt in 1952 uh, there'll never be peace in the East because the Jews left black and came back white. And those, those were his statements. So a lot of people already know that the children of the, of Israel, the true people of God, are a dark-skinned race, you know, namely the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? Um, so there'll never be peace, you know? And the, and, and, and the scriptures tell you, one, if you do evil in that land, the, the, the land will reject the individuals in the land. So um, right now, those people in the land call themselves the Jews. We're the Jews and all that. They're really like an antibody, you know, I mean, they're like a virus. I'm sorry. They're like a virus inside the body and the land is trying to reject that virus. You see, that's what's going on now. So once we get put back in the right stead, then, then things shall be um, done in decency and in order. But until then, there's going to be constant strife and mischief and, and chaos. You see? Um, but yeah, go, going back to the, going back to the point, man, it, when, when shit kick Jacob's troubles takes place Man Brothers don't trust the shit you hear If you hear a brother's voice That's familiar Unless you physically see this brother talking to you um, You know don't, don't trust shit man You know there's gonna be a whole bunch of Crazy shit happening man You, you, might, you might even have to act like Damn near security card You know how you, you try to access You know you try to access something You forget your password They ask you what's the security question Hey, man, you might have to ask this brother if you see them in that day, like some question like going way, way back, you know, just to make sure shit is real. And I know it sounds extra and whatever, but hey, man, never don't put anything past what might happen in that day. You know, the Lord is going to have um, um, crazy things happen, man. You know, crazy things like we're seeing crazy things now. Um, but ultimately, you know, Trusting Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is, is is just the way to go, you know. That's 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 gonna be the ultimate. Actually, let me let me go back real quick. That's gonna be the ultimate savior. That's 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 gonna be what's gonna determine sound judgment, prayer, and faith. Um, let's go King James version. 
Yo, this iPhone shit is annoying, bro. Uh, all right, all right, here we go. Now, the book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, it says, Trust in the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshai, with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding, right? So, um, the understanding of what the mark of the beast is, for example, you know, um, that's found in the Bible. You have people that say, you know, it's sin or, 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 or it's, um, some other bullshit, but you know, in in, real, in retaliation to that, here's here's a precept: Oh, it's sin. The mark of the beast is sin, and and what have you. Okay, this this is what the scripture says in the book of Ecclesiasticus three and uh, twenty four. Right, it says, "For many are deceived um, by their own vain opinion." Right, so that's a that's an opinion. That's some that's some. Demons whispering in your mind if, if it's telling you that it's not the uh, mark of the beast. And you know what it is? It's for convenience. You know, that's why the scripture says, such is the way of a, a strange woman. You know, the sweet lips, the flattery. Uh, that's that strange philosophy to tell you, okay, it's okay to take the mark of the beast. Why? Because if you take that chip, you could go about your daily life. There's no tribulation there. You're just going along with the program, you know? That's that, that's that strange, wicked woman to avoid. It says... For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion has, hath overthrown their judgment. Right? So they have put that trust in that opinion of a, of a man or somebody they look up to, but really they should have put their trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and, and the scriptures. You know, it's plain and simple, okay, for those that can receive it, that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast, and you're not supposed to take that, man. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not onto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Right? So, that's it. That's that's it at the end of the day, you know? Um, you just got to trust in the most I have faith in things, man. He's going to navigate the past. This, this, the, the, the nests and snares that the so-called white man is going to lay. It's not going to entangle brothers, man. You know? All of, all of you know, Andrew Tate and these guys, they're the top G, billions of dollars. And look how quickly... You know, they came after that shit, seized this, seized that, put a whole bunch of lies on you, paid some woman off to tell lies on you, you know, got voice recognition to make you sound like you're saying this and all that. It could set you up real quickly, even if you have all this money and all that type of shit. But guess what? If you have your how about shim yaw shy, your how about shim yaw shy will always make a way to defend us. Because at the end of the day, um, your how about shim yaw shy controls man. You know, he controls the outcomes of things. He determines how things are going to play out. So that's what we have in faith in. We have in faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. So expect crazy shit towards the end, Akim. Like I said, man, I was watching that video. I said, right, look, in that day, don't trust no goddamn voicemail. Don't trust no fucking video. They can deep fake you. They can fake your voice. None of that shit, man. All right? To try to persuade your mind about anything. Um, just have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. He'll ultimately make you make the sound decision when the time comes. That I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakhakwadash, the belongs to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there. You Akim to Zadakim. I do this thing the ammo truth and sincerity. Shalom.